People here, and this is another edition of Games, Games, Games. This time, I'm going to be reviewing the top five indie games on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Alright, so, number one is one that's very obvious, and it's the only one that I'm going to say you have to buy, now that you have heard of its existence. The game is, I made a game with zombies in it. This game is hilarious. The song in the background is actually the maker singing. And he wrote the song, and it just describes what you're doing in the game, and it just adds to the game, and just makes it more hilarious than, you know, any other zombie game that's out there that's just shooting around in circles. Um, it's really cool because you get different weapons. I think there's five different weapons that you can get, maybe six. There are three different types of zombies. There are, you know, there's like three or four different enemies that are not zombies. If you're prone to seizures, you're not going to want to play this game because it gets pretty crazy with the flashing and everything, which just makes it more fun to me, but obviously if someone is prone to seizures, that's not very fun at all. Um, but overall, this is just a hilarious game. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to want to keep playing it because you're just going to want to try to get higher and higher in the scoreboard. And yeah, you just, you, you're going to want to try out all the different weapons and everything. The gameplay is roughly 15 minutes. But, you know, you're going to be playing it over and over again. I'm still playing uh, my downloaded copy, and I got it, like, three months ago. So, yeah, this is definitely a game that you need to download now that you've heard of it. This is the only time I'm going to say you have to buy a game. It's only a dollar, 80 Microsoft points, and it's just, it's so cheap and fun that you have to go buy it now that you've heard of it. At least download the demo, at least. Which, for all of these, you should be downloading the demo anyway, because they made a top five list. The second game on the top five list is A Fading Melody. Now, I really like this game. It's about this woman who's in a coma, and she's trying to wake up from a nightmare that she's in. And you wake her up by going through the game and defeating all the monsters. And every time you defeat a monster, the screen gets a little brighter. The background turns a little brighter with every level. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, you know, just, you know, side scroller, you're running, you're jumping on enemies, uh, you have to roll sometimes in enemies. And again, the music really adds to this game. And I feel like they could have gone in a really different direction with the music, but they chose to go this route, and it worked out perfectly because it just adds to the quietness of the game, just talking about brightness levels and everything. The whole game feels soft and quiet and just kind of almost sad. And it's just, it's really good. It, like, I feel like they put a lot of work into the storyline of this. And it's just, it's different from other games that I've seen. As far as storyline, it's completely different. So overall, you're going to want to buy this game, too. Uh, I forget how many max points it is right now. It's like 180 or something. It's not that expensive. But it's really fun. It's got seven levels, so you're going to be playing it for a while. It took me about two hours to beat this game just because I suck at side scrollers. It felt like it was an actual developer's game. Like, I know that they're game developers, obviously, because they developed a game, but they're not sponsored or anything, but it didn't feel like that. It felt like they had, it felt like they had sponsors, that they had a big budget for this game, and that they just really were just professionals in making this game, which obviously now they are, but before they weren't because this is just an indie game that they made. So you should definitely download this one, at least the demo again. Alright, number three is Kaleidoscope. This game is possibly the cutest game available on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Seriously. It's just, it's almost, it's almost like Kirby. It's so cute. He's just like a little black puffball and he runs around and, you know, he's got the same feet as Kirby. He does a little pitter-patter feet movement. And it's just, it's so cute. You're bringing back color to the planet of Kaleidoscope because something came along and took away all the color. And you do this by jumping on top of the enemy's heads and collecting colored pigments. And to pass the level, you have to find the main pigment, which is hidden at the end or middle or beginning of the level. Uh, there's three for each level. And you don't need to get them all to finish the game. There are in-game awards for which one of them is getting all the pigments, all the main pigments. 
Um, overall, the theme is just really, really cute. It's really fun, and I really hope the people who made this game get picked up so they can finish it because I really felt like, you know, they had more to give, but the budget just didn't allow for it, which is really sad because this game, this game is really, really fun and it's really cute, and I would definitely buy a full-length game of it. All right, number four is Lumi again, another cute game where you're a little yellow puffball, but an actual puffball this time. You don't get feet. And you hop around and you got to go through the level of collecting fireflies to light up the forest and stuff. And um, again, another dark bean or whatever has come and he turns the creatures there into monsters and stuff. So you have to change them back into regular little puffballs. And it's just, it's really cute and stuff. It feels like the moth. That's what the world feels like. You know those little pink puffballs? That's what they all look like. The controls are pretty simple. You just basically using the triggers and the joystick to move forward. Um, it's a lot of fun. It'll keep you busy and everything. And again, it's really cute. The last one is a very, very addictive game. Um, it is called Machiavelli's Ascent. Now, this one, you're just a jellyfish and you're just going up and up in the water through the whole thing. You have to hit the little orbs of white light and then you go up higher. If you hit the arrows going up, it shoots really far and you're just trying to get points. The higher you go, the more points you get. And it's just really addicting because once you miss one, you go all the way back down to the bottom and, you know, you're just constantly trying to beat your score. And I'm not going to lie, you know, getting 20,000 points is great, but, you know, then you realize, oh wait, I wasn't even done with the game yet. And then you try to get 25,000. And once you do that, you want to get higher. And it's just like a big circle of you just trying to beat your score over and over again. And it's very, very addicting very quickly. So that's why that one got on the list. I know it's kind of short and it's not really a full game game, but I liked it and it was very, very addicting and the replay value was very high on this. So it made it into the top five. So that's the top five indie games on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Unfortunately, during my search through all of them, I only got through the first 530 about. It just is very time consuming going through all the games trying to find possible choices for the top five, and it took me hours to do this. So I just stopped at 500. If you think I missed the game that I should have checked out, message me or leave a comment below and I will definitely check it out, I promise. And if I find three or more games that just should have been on this list but didn't make it because I just didn't check the last 500 on the list of indie games, I will make a follow-up video to this and mention them. At the end of this video, though, I do have a bunch of honorable mentions on the uh, marketplace there. These games, they are very good. They do not seem like indie games because they're just that good. They're, we, they were well-made and everything. but. I felt like I had seen them all before, so that's why they didn't make the top five, but they're still something that you should definitely check out. So this has been Rock Fun People with Games, Games, Games.